I'm Tyler Crossan, and I am a former communist Connecticut uh, <laughs> surf, and now I am living good in the free state. This is our 26-foot truck with all of our belongings, and we're excited to be here at, you know, uh, help further the fight for liberty and and gain more liberty in our lifetimes. Awesome, you came coming from Connecticut. Yes, <laughs> so, where I was a, a tax slave and nothing more. Yeah, and, uh, and I used to well, have... That comes, well, that comes with it yeah, coming across see, the border, you have to exactly. grow a beard. I, yeah. I knew that I wanted to fit into the New Hampshire culture. So I, I got, grew a beard and I bought a Tacoma, which I'm getting on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> And I've got my gun, my custom, awesome. uh, custom what what 45, well, not yet. My oh, okay. When I get it on um, probably Thursday or Friday, my custom 45 that uh, actually Owen Martin uh -huh. of Snake Hound Machine mm -hmm. uh, created there, for yeah. me. Very excited about that. Awesome. So, yeah, very, you I'm know. A man in New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I literally feel like I've regained some of my manhood. Yeah. Like I can't, you know, it's one of those things you don't realize that you lost it until you get a taste of it. And when I was up here meeting everyone and you know just checking things out, kind of scoping things out for the Free State Project and meeting people at the um, MVP meetup and all that stuff, I was just blown away by how much freedom there was, guys walking around with guns on their hip. I'm like, this is awesome. This is like, <laughs> this is totally real life. Yeah. Like you where I live, I'm like just in fantasy land. Like they, all these laws trying to control everyone and you know, anyways, so. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Yep. You get that feeling every single time you come back across the yes, border. Yes, I know. <laughs> every time, because I've visited like probably 15 times since uh, I first visited to, and I mean, I've been coming up to New Hampshire my whole life, but, um, but after each time, after I've had this like political awakening, each time I come, I'm just like, you can breathe easier, you know? So you can breathe that freedom. Well, the air, the air is clean. <laughs> yeah, and the air is clean, exactly. You just trucked this up today? Yes. And so there is a uh, porcupine organized move in party yes, and today. Mr. Um, Sylvia is here for us. That's representative. Representative. I'm sorry. <laughs> All hail the, the state representatives. Yeah, I don't have my shiny badge on today. Yeah. So I was supposed to be wearing my Don't Tread On Me shirt, but uh, Katie packed it with everything else. I was like, really? Anyways. So do you, do you have How any? You? Good to see you. Very good, very you, good. you have any guess about uh, how much help you're going to get today? Uh, I saw on the Facebook event about 32 people have said they're coming and 20 more have said they might come. So, How many of those you figure you know already? Um, I probably know a good chunk of them because really? I've come up here so often. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe 60, 70 percent, something like that. Yeah, because I've come up here a lot. They all know. They've seen my face a bunch. <laughs> is that with Tyler, um, I would say he did it right in a sense, where like he showed up to New Hampshire um, earlier in the year. He's been here probably at least five different occasions where he's um, 
come to like random meetups that we do, um, interacted with members of the community, and he's made a lot of friendships here. And so because of that, he was able to get a huge showing of support, um, people showing up that already knew him basically, were already considered um, his friends, and they're, you know, we're all here now basically helping them move in. So I would encourage anyone else who's considering moving to the Free State Project or moving to New Hampshire to really try and make those connections early on, um, show up early if you can. I did that before I moved. I flew up for like a three-day little trip around the state, rented a car, drove around, got to know some people. And so because of that, Porkfest, for example. yeah, Porkfest would be a great opportunity to make lots of friends, um, kind of get those connections rolling where you, you already know some people who you can reach out to and say, hey, I'm moving in, could you help me move? You know, obviously it's it's pretty easy once you know a lot of people. Uh, we know each other really well and we can get a lot of people to show up and make this a very quick and easy experience for people and they feel really welcome and uh, like they have a lot of friends here already and they just got here. Okay, I'm Katie Crossan, and we're moving in right now. Organized chaos behind me. <laughs> and where'd you come from? Connecticut. Connecticut. Why'd you leave Connecticut? <laughs> Why wouldn't we leave Connecticut? <laughs> there are lots of reasons. The Second Amendment would be one. Taxes would be one. Um, there's lots more freedom up here. We want to put our roots down up here. Yeah. You seem so. You just you just drove up today, right? We did. We drove up today, two hours. Seems you got a lot of help, but right? we did more than I was expecting. We I think we have like 32 people, which is great because I can stay in the central air and direct, and yeah. all the work can be done by someone else. <laughs> Almost three dozen. How many? How many? How many have you met? Before? Um, I think I've only met about five of the people who are actually helping us right now. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Maybe more than that, but. I definitely had to reintroduce myself to some people. Thank you, thanks for coming. <laughs> well, welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> Tyler with the moving party. Um, we're actually not quite 
in New Hampshire ourselves yet, but we are free state movers. My wife, Michelle, who's to my right, is the we that I'm just referring to. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully be moving to New Market area in about a month or so. That's our that's our goal, ultimately, to open a chiropractic office. And uh, but here today, we're helping move Tyler and meeting lots of cool people. Park the Free State Project. Cool. So you don't even live here and you're helping yeah. Free Staters move? Yeah, we're a little crazy like that. We actually met Tyler in Connecticut. We, we were living about five minutes away from him. We were only in Connecticut for about five months or so. And uh, we just happened to stumble across him through Facebook. Michelle did. And uh, so we yeah, just met up with him, started making a friendship. And we said, hey, you know, you know what? We'll help you move. We'll do that for you. So we packed up there, unloaded here. Yeah. He's calling up the truck. Yes. <laughs> So, so how you've been? Have, how much time have you spent um, in New Hampshire so far, overall? Uh, not a whole lot yet. We've been up here for a few different weekends mostly. Uh, hasn't been a lot of time. I'd say maybe a week and a half, two weeks total, like of actual time at this point. So, when you got here this morning, how many of the people who are here did you know before? Uh, maybe. Four, three? Was it even that many? I don't know. Just a couple. You recognize people off of Facebook. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, how many do you know now? Uh, a dozen, 20, I don't know. I, I lost count at some point. I lost count at some point. So when are you moving up? Hopefully about a month or so. We're, but I've been saying that for about like three or four months now. Yeah. So, so hopefully this month is actually the month. But yeah, it's, it's definitely getting very close. And you're, gonna be, about that. and you're gonna be opening up a telepractic office in Newmarket. In Newmarket. That's Do you have a website so. or anything? Uh, we are setting up our website and we're setting up a Facebook page right now. Okay. Live free chiropractic. Live free chiropractic. Well, good luck with that. And when you get here, welcome home. All right. Let us know and we'll help you move to it. Alright, thanks, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> Have anything to say on the, the end of a perfect day? Live free or die. <laughs> <laughs> Best state ever. <laughs>